Hello everyone. Welcome to video lecture series on digital system design subject. And today we are going to study about number system. So these number systems are used to represent numbers. Everybody is aware of decimal number system with base 10 where the symbols are 0 to 9. And we can represent the numbers as 43, 256, 453 like that. But in computers, apart from decimal system, we have other number systems like binary, octal, hexadecimal number system. So what is in binary? So binary is having the base of 2, having two symbols, 0 or 1. Using these two symbols, we can represent any number. In octal, we have the base 8, which is having 8 symbols, 0 to 7. And in hexadecimal system where the base is 16, so which is having 16 symbols 0 to 9 and A, B, C, D, E and F. These values are A is represents the value of 10, B is 11, C is 12, D is 13, E is 14 and F is 15. So likewise in binary 2 symbols, in octal 8 symbols hexadecimal 16 symbols. Using these symbols, we can represent any number in that base. Let's look at one example. Let's take 43. So this 43 is in decimal is 43 value. So the same value how we can represent in other three number systems. The 43 in binary is equivalent of 101011. The same number is represented in octal as pi 3 and in hexadecimal as 2b. Now how you get these values? So let's look at with examples how can you convert from decimal to other base system as well as vice versa. Let's look at by taking one example. So if you take 234 base 10 which is a decimal number. So where I need to convert this decimal number into base 8. So this process uses dividing the number with base to which you want to convert and take the remainders. Now we will see how it is happens. So take the number of base 10, 234. So you divide it by 8. Take the coefficient, so which is 29 and remainder is 2. Again you take the 29 coefficient divided by 8. So 8 threes are 24 and remainder is 5. Now again you take the coefficient divided by 8. Now the coefficient is 0, remainder is 3. So this division process has to continue till you get coefficient as 0. So now you are concentration on the remainders. Now we have to place the remainders from bottom to top. So 3, 5, 2. 352 of base 8. So now answer is 234 of base 10 decimal number is represented in octal as 352 of base 8. Look at one more example. So here I am converting base 10 value to base 2. Now how it is the same procedure we have to follow the division process. So take the number 34 u divided by 2 then coefficient is 17, remainder is 0. So now the same process will continue, 17 divided by 2, 8 and remainder is 1. And this process will continue till you get the coefficient as 0. So now again the same, the answer is you put the remainders from bottom to top. So 1, 0, 0, 0, 1, 0. So the equivalent of 34 of base 10 decimal number can be represented in binary as 100010. Now we will go for any number base to decimal. So the reverse process, how it is done. So here we have to go for multiplication. So let us take one example, how it is done. Now convert 352 of base 8 to decimal number. Now 352 of base 8. Now if we look at the Positional weights of each digit. This is 8 power 0. So here it is 8 power 1 and here it is 8 power 2. 
so that means you have to multiply the positional weights with the digits so it is 3 into 8 power 2 5 into 8 power 1 plus 2 into 8 power 0 so now 3 into 8 square is 64 5 into 8 2 into 8 power 0 is 1 so the number is 192 plus 40 plus 2 it is 234 of 10 so this is the digit is multiplied with their positional weights to get the equivalent value of base 10 so this is the procedure which we have to follow for any number system if it is base 2 we'll see one example how it will be converted so if you look at this base 2 i want to convert it to decimal so same the positional weights so 2 power 0 2 power 1 2 power 2 2 power 3 2 power 4 and 2 power 5 so multiply these digits with their positional weights so we'll get the value of 32 plus 0 plus 0 plus 0 plus 2 plus 0 so the final value is total is 34 of 10 so now the equivalent of 1 triple 0 1 0 of base 2 is 34 in decimal system so we have completed the conversion from decimal to other base and other base system to decimal so now if you look at the one more from any base of x to any base of y how we can convert for example here i want to convert from base 8 that is octal to hexadecimal number. now how it will be done so it is having two steps one first you convert the number of x to decimal number and then convert decimal number to base x in the previous slides we already know how to convert from base x to decimal number and also we have studied how to convert decimal number to another base system so that is 352 of 8 first we need to convert into base 10 how it is done by multiplying its positional weights so 352 is now equivalent to 234 of base 10 so that means the first step is completed so now base 10 that is decimal number has to convert into hexadecimal number what is the process is the division procedure so where 234 is divided by 16 coefficient is 14 remainder is 10 i think i already told you the 10 is represented as a in hexadecimal number so again you take the coefficient 14 is divided by 16 now the coefficient is 0 and remainder is 14 the equivalent symbol of 14 in hexadecimal is e so now the answer is you have to put it the answer as ea that is your 352 of base 8 is equal to ea of base 16 so this is how the numbers are converted from one base to another base as well as from decimal to another base system and another base system to decimal so thank you